And on this one, what I'm going to do is to show how you can do two colors. This is actually probably quite old. I don't know how old it is, but someone has cleaned it off and put a new varnish on it. And it's taken away every bit of patina that it used to have. And it's also rather orange in a bad way. And I'm going to start with duck egg blue, and then I'm going to put a second color of um, old white on. Paint onto it, but going in a sort of every which way. Just push the paint in. One of the reasons why these brushes are really good is because they will allow you to stab in and get in all lots of directions. The first coat should be slightly thicker and more uneven. Um, it's evenly uneven. You don't want to be doing it uneven all over with lots of lumps and bumps. I know that the way I paint looks very slapdash. It is, but I am trying to make it have some texture and something interesting about it. So what I'm doing now is doing the second coat of my two color one. I've got duck egg blue on first, and now I'm putting old white on. You need to really paint with a, as big a brush as you can handle. You don't want to be hanging around Get on with it, that's the idea. Thinning the paint down is quite important um, if the paint is too thick, because if you don't do that, when you try to sand it, it'll be really, really hard to do. So now this is all dry. I'm going to wax it with the clear wax, and then I'm just going to gently sand it so you can just see some of the blue coming through. It's just made it very slightly dark. So now I'm just going to wipe it off. Use the sandpaper to bring out the sort of shape of everything. There's some little bumps there in the paint that was underneath. So getting the blue paint a little irregular is really good. So there are lots and lots of other techniques that you can be doing. I hope this has inspired you to go on and do more.